Okay, we're gonna show you how to put together an X-Pro Heli from the ground up. I'm gonna start off by building the frame and then we're gonna get into installing the electronics and everything all the way to the props. So here we go. So this is really easy to put together. You just have a few parts here. You got your camera mount landing gear over here. You've got your main body in your arms and this little plate that goes on the bottom right here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. What you wanna do is you wanna start by putting the arms on. We're gonna put the arms on and we're gonna put them on just hand tight all the way around. So once you get all of these hand tight, they're just kind of, you just basically put the screws in so everything's nice and loose. You're gonna wanna put this bottom plate on. And you wanna do this also, before you tighten anything down, we wanna go ahead and make sure that we put everything in just kind of hand tight. And this may take just a little bit of tweaking shouldn't be too hard, but there's going to be a little bit of a massage that you're going to have to do to this frame because it's kind of bent inward right now the way that it's supposed to so that when you're tightening these and you actually start to, to form this frame, you're going to need to push these things. Like right now I'm kind of pushing out on this back wall and pushing in on this to line up that hole so I can see it. It's not terribly hard. I'm not the strongest person in the world and I can do it. So I think you could probably manage to do it too. And we go and you don't want to tighten them all the way down until you get everything in there. So now all of them are in there and this is the fun part because we get to go through and we can just screw them on with the gun. So we'll go ahead and screw this bottom plate on first. And I've got my drill set at seven right now and that's a pretty good you want to push down real hard so you don't strip out that screw. This is a really wimpy screwdriver though, so seven might be a little bit different on yours. What these are is they're locking pins on the back side of these, these things. So what you're screwing into has a lock on it. So it's going to be really hard to back those back out after you get them in. Um, you don't want to take this thing apart unless you have to replace a part really so shouldn't be a problem but then we're going to go around we're going to just go ahead and lay this flat and we're going to screw in all the arms here that's how you put it together that one's ready to go what we're going to do now is we're going to put these foam pads that we have here and this is going to separate the landing gear from the actual quad here so we're gonna take these and we're gonna stick these right on the middle right here of each side. So each side gets one of these little foam pads and it's got this actual mesh in it. So it's really gonna be hard to take off after you get it on. So you wanna make sure you place it in the right place. And actually when I've actually tried to take it off, I've torn the actual foam instead of getting this off it'll just tear the foam right off so you want to make sure you get it right the first time and stick those where you want them and there's a reason for doing this the way that we're doing it because when we put the the landing gear on this has already got double-sided tape already on it so you just have to peel off the top layer of these. And this tape is extremely sticky too. So once you get this thing on there, you are gonna have to do some work to get it off if you ever need to take it off. One of the nice things about this is it will it'll save your camera and save your rig if you do have a really hard crash Things will move around. This thing might break off. Um, we've seen it all come apart before. And then you just basically have to get back down to the metal, use some goof off or whatever to take that stuff off, get back down to the metal, and then reset this up. We'll send you some extra little pads and it's pretty simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay this flat. And then I'm gonna, I want my XP2 to go to the front side. So I'm going to go ahead and put that to the front side. I'm going to put the battery tab to the back side. 
we've got our sticky tape all off right here. So those are gonna just stick right onto those foam pads. We're gonna line this up really nice. Stick it on there one time. And that's how that works. You can see that that is on there, not going anywhere. So that's how that works. We're gonna go ahead and put the camera mount on. You've got two longer screws, two nuts and two lock washers, and that's what holds this on. So you wanna go ahead and the tolerances are really small on this because we didn't want these things jiggling around at all after you get them put together. So it might be easiest just to do this with a screwdriver to get this in because you kind of have to thread it through and it's going to thread through on both pieces. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. And again, these tolerances are really super tight. So. We did that on purpose. You can see even without any nuts or washers or anything, that thing's really on there. It's not moving, there's no jiggling. Obviously you need to put these on there. So you put your lock washer on and then you put your nut on. Lock washer and your nut. And then we're just gonna tighten these up. And you can just hold this if you have a drill on the back side, tighten it up like that. Or you can take a pair of pliers if you really want to torque it down and get in there. So it's really a good system. You get really good video with it. On the next video that you see, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install the electronics. It's really simple. Everything fits inside of here and uh, looks really clean when it's all done. Thanks for watching. See you next time.